Danville, California is a decent place to go running, and it's a great place for cows. So I used to run on a mountain called Mount Diablo and at Mesita Ranch past the cows, deer, turkeys, foxes, ground squirrels, and other animals. I love wildlife, but of course I can't take home coyotes and squirrels. That is until I started finding dead ones. I've probably run hundreds of miles in Danville, but it wasn't until I learned where to look that I started getting bones. I found just about every type of dead animal, calves, foxes, coyotes, raccoons, skunks. I probably had 50 skulls. I started taking them home and learned how to clean them. Every skull I cleaned was a little nicer and a little whiter than the last. I grew more bold going into ravines, taking home fresher specimens that required more skills to clean. I amassed a collection. People started texting me when they saw a dead animal. I wrote an article about the cow bones of Mount Diablo and put it on the internet. I started working on the mountain and people asked me about the bones. I shared the best animal dump sites online. I finally started to appreciate Danville as a quaint, homely Elysium of the dead. But for every hundred cows that Danville has, it is approximately no jobs in my field, so I had to move to a city. I donated most of the bones, keeping a few small ones, but I'm still the bone collector. I kept collecting them when I moved, I drew them, traded them, photographed them, talked about them. Investigated the human bone trade for an article. So Danville gave me some really unforgettable experiences. It might not be a good place to facilitate career momentum, but at least it has a lot of carcasses. And in the end, isn't that all that really matters?